Welcome to our first lecture of Zoology full preparation series. If you want to get notification of all upcoming lectures, just subscribe and also share to others. So let's start. We tried to cover the maximum terminologies in a short time so that you will be able to solve any type of MCQs in your exam. So you can see here 2.5 million species of living organisms have been given scientific name. Out of these 1.5 million species or animals and out of this 1.5 million species of animals, the 7,50,000 belong to the insect species alone. And 3,50,000 species of the plants include algae, fungi, mosses, and higher forms of the plants. Now, what is biosphere? Biosphere coined to highlight the interdependence of living and non-living world. So here include both the living and non-living world. Now, taxonomic systems. The initiation of evolving taxonomic system was provided by Aristotle and he is also called as the father of biological classification. Now there are the two questions maybe that who initiated the taxonomic system? He is the Aristotle and who is the father of biological classification? He is Aristotle. So you can solve your any type of MCQs core belongs to Aristotle and similarly uh, for the lineage that the lineage is Swedish naturalist and called the father of taxonomy so the father of taxonomy is lineage his greatest con contribution to taxonomy was the use of binomial nomenclature for all the species of plants and animals now the work of Lamarck he arranged animals according to evolution. He displayed the groups of animals in the form of a branching tree. So he grouped the group of the animals in the branching tree form. And Charles Darwin in 1859 published his famous work named as Origin of the Species. Now introduction of taxa and species. So first we know the word taxonomy. This is the combination of the two Greek words, the taxis and nomos. The taxis means arrangement and nomos meaning, means laws. So taxonomy can be defined as the theory and practice of classifying organisms. Systematic is the scientific study of kinds and diversity of organisms and all relationships among them. So there are two things. The kind of organism and diversity of the organisms and their relationships are studied in systematic. Now classification, when you ordering anything or any group, anything into the groups, this is classification. And the zoological classification is ordering of animals into groups on the basis of their relationships that how they have the relationship they may be the positive relationships or they may be the negative relationship among them on the basis of these relationships, these are ordering then this is zoological classification a taxon is a taxonomic group of any rank that is sufficiently distinct to be worthy of being assigned to a definite category. There are several taxas in animal taxonomy like phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. These are the taxons. And the, the largest group of these taxa are, is, the, uh, is the largest group is phylum. Here are some characteristics of phylum. Like the single-celled animals are called as protozoans and the pore-bearing animals are included in the phylum periphera. 
and common body cavity and digestive cavity the containing animals are cylindrata phylum they are in the cylindrata and platforms are included in the platyhelminthes and thread like worms are placed in the phylum nematoda and metamerically segmented animals are placed in the phylum annelida and the animals having jointed legs are placed in phylum arthropoda and soft bodied animals are placed in phylum mollusca and spiny skinned animals are placed in echinodermata phylum and having notochord are included in the phylum chordata now characters of some classes like the class rhizopoda animals having with root like pseudopodia and ciliata class having the ciliated animals as the name shows and flagellata having flagellum and the protozoa class include those animals which producing spores now here are some scientific names of invertebrates that you must know according to the exams point of view the first one is the earthworm lampito moriti cockroach the periplanita americana housefly the musca nebula locust the schistosera irregular bed bugs scientific name is cymex hemipterus and leaf insect are phylum species and stick insects the caraceous species water scorpion are nepa species and butterflies are parrot species and red fleas are xenophila chiopis and the scientific name of scorpion is plaminus smordmi plaminus smordmi and the king crab is lamula species and the spider is arani species or arani species the apple snail is pila glabusa and the freshwater mussels are named as lamellidian marginalis and the starfish is asterus rubens so this is the end of our lecture in our second lecture we will also study the biodiversity under this topic we will study all the types of phylum classes and many more so don't forget to subscribe and share this lecture number 1